Hi, this is Vincent at Chivalrous Games, presenting the Dungeon Master. The Dungeon Master is a Unity asset that creates levels randomly for both 2D and 3D games. In this video, we're going to see the basic concepts of Dungeon Master. And please bear with me, this won't be a very flashy eye candy type of video, but understanding these basic concepts will give you a quick start with the Dungeon Master. So let's get started. The basic concepts are dungeons, levels, rooms, regions, connectors, and spawnables. The dungeon is a collection of levels. It needs at least one unlocked entrance point called a dungeon connector. This can be simply a starting point or an actual path toward an outside world. This is a loose connection. This means that this entrance will not be physically located near the outside world. You need sort of a teleport script to use this connector. And if you don't have an outside world, then it's simply a starting point where the character will spawn at the beginning of the game. The dungeon also contains configuration that is common to all its levels. And it contains configuration on how these levels connect together. A level is a collection of rooms, usually of the same theme. For example, a village or a castle could be a level in a dungeon. And a dungeon can hold as many levels as you want. The level will also contain configuration that is common to all its rooms. It will connect to other levels through level connectors. And this is also a loose connection, just like the dungeon connection. So you need a teleport script to move from one level to another. The rooms are the basic building block on which everything is built. The rooms will connect to each other through room connectors, and these are a tight connection. This means that your rooms will be physically located next to one another, so you do not need a teleport script for that. The rooms will contain connection points to configure the room connectors, level connectors, and dungeon connectors. The rooms also contain spawn points, where you can configure spawnables, and you can have as many of them as you want in a room. Rooms within a level must all fit within a specific bounding box, and this bounding box size is determined by the level. So the rooms should not expand outside of that bounding box, but they can be smaller, as long as their room connector reach the limit of the bounding box, so when you connect two rooms together, there is not a gap between the rooms. You can create rooms that are bigger than what the bounding box would normally allow by creating small rooms that you attach together with a, an invisible room connector. So this gives the illusion of a bigger room. Regions are a thematic set of rooms inside a level. They're not mandatory, but they can be interesting because since regions are part of a level, this allows to create thematic areas that connect physically since they connect through usual room connectors. Connectors, as the name implies, allow to connect elements together. So to levels, or a dungeon to the outside world, or to rooms. A connector usually contains assets, like 3D models, that will be spawned when the element connect. A connector can be locked, meaning that the player must possess a specific key to use this connector. When connecting two elements together, let's say, for example, rooms, each room will supply half of the connector. And to make sure the connectors will fit together when spawned, the connectors have a connector type. If the connector type is the same for both connectors, then the dungeon master knows that these connectors will actually fit together when they are spawned. The connector type is also used to display elements on the map. So, for example, if a room has a blue door connector and a red door connector, both of these door connectors would be associated with the door connector type and the door connector type could display a door icon on the map. The spawnables are assets that are used to populate the rooms. They can be anything. They can be loot, scenery, items, enemies, anything you can think of. Uh, you can configure spawnables with limiters, so you don't spawn too much of something in the same room, or level, or dungeon. When a room is rendered, the spawnables are rendered as well. Spawnables have types, like connectors. This allows to display some spawnables on the map if you want.
For example, you could have enemies with the spawnable type monster that displays nothing on the map. And you could also have key items in your dungeon with the spawnable type key and they would display a small key icon on the map. There is also a special kind of spawnable called a detached spawnable. You can use this if one of your spawnable can move from room to room, like an enemy that would track the player. So when the room that spawned that element is unrendered, the spawnable is not unrendered at the same time and will not vanish for no apparent reason. With these elements, you have all you need to get started with the Dungeon Master. If you need more detailed information, you can see the user guide or the other tutorials.